My name's Anne Tully and I've lived in Chiswick for um, oh, on and off for about 60 years, probably about 40, 40 years in succession. Do you want to introduce yourself, Mum? What do I say? Your name? My name is um, Annie Tully. How long you've lived in Chiswick? Oh, how long have I lived in Chiswick? Um, how long have I lived here? Well, I was uh, 22 when I came up here to live, and I'm, sev I'm 97 now. So she's done not too badly. We were living in a, a different age then uh, when women often weren't working and they had time to kind of integrate and, and spend time together. There certainly was a sense of community that, that has long since gone from Chiswick. You went back to live in Dremoyne for about 12 oh, years. Oh, so. I went for how long? About 12 years, was it? No, 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 about oh, four years, six years, something like that. About six years. During the war, Anne was born and my mother decided I was too young to bring up a baby on my own, which was ridiculous, but still. You'd... And I went home and stayed with Mum on Lions Road. With And uh, when Stan came home, we stayed, I stayed, we stayed there for a couple of years and then we came up here and bought a block of land and uh, been lived here ever since. I don't think the present moment there's anybody lived in Chiswick as long as I've lived in Chiswick. I've had a lot of wonderful times in Chiswick. And when it was, when we first came up to Chiswick, it was an entirely different place than it is now. It was beautiful. We're all, all, the, there was about, oh, there was only about six houses when we came up to live here. And then when the others come, she's a little bit friend up the road and that, we'd, you know, we'd all had a progress association. We used to have dances and everything else and uh, go to one another's places for morning tea, which you don't do now. Mm. And uh, it was really glorious. And the kids had their own Sunday school with the most beautiful Sunday school teacher. And uh, I must admit, it was much nicer than it is now. Much nicer. There was a, there was a real sense of community eh? then. It was a small... There was a real sense of community. Oh, everybody, in, look, and, everybody and knew one another because there was no houses. There was only just a couple of houses across the road there and um, um, the, the one I lived in was one probably one of the first houses that was built. My father-in-law owned it mm. and... Uh, but, oh, look, even these kids, they could tell you the fun they used to have in Chiswick. Mm. And they used to go, go swimming in the... No baths, they just used to go down and swim in the open. And... Uh, but uh, it was really a beautiful place to live in. The shop was added on to the house, which was built in 1914. The shop was built in 1928 and it was built by a grandfather. Lewis Tully established the shop. Mum's father-in-law, my paternal grandfather. Yeah, it's a bit confusing, isn't it? Yes, yes. What's interesting about the, the shop too is it was literally a corner shop. And it was, it was a community um, kind of centrepiece because people would come and leave their keys there. If, if say, somebody was, um, if a tradie was going to come and needed, somebody needed to make a delivery or do work and they couldn't be home, they'd leave the keys here and then they could come and collect the keys here. Um, people would run up tabs here. Um, a lot of gossip too, I think. A lot of trust. Yeah. The trust, yeah. Trust good. Yes, yes. yes. Yes, Olga, Olga lived, we lived on the, down there and she lived on the corner. She okay. lived on the corner with her mum and dad. Now we've started to get back again together and we go walking together. Anyway, um, I'll pack what I'm going to say now. Isn't that terrible? Oh, about mum. Yeah. And uh, mum uh, had, a, had a wonderful mum and dad. 
And uh, anyway, Mum threw, uh, threw a, something that happened to her, uh, a, a shock. She ended up with very bad asthma. And I've seen my mother black in the face with asthma. Anyway, one of the doctors said to her, or said to my father, look, your wife's not going to live very long. He said, but if you took her to a warmer climate, she might live till she was 49 or 50. So anyway, packed up, come from Scotland, we came out here. Dad died at 60, Mum lived till she was 94. <laughs> so I must have taken after her, there must have been yeah. something there. But she came off a very aristocratic yeah. family, plenty of money, and Dad was just... But they were in love, and yeah. that and was the only, you know. My father just adored my mother. I never saw two people like it. And, I mean, if he thought it was going to do her good, yes. 